One strategy I have with working with word problems is to check out the last sentence of the word problem. Uh, and then once I know what I'm supposed to be solving for, I can go through the word problem. I have a better idea of what I should be doing. So in the last sentence, it says solve for the velocity. Whoa, that's way too big. <laughs> that's too small. This portage is just right. Okay, so the velocity, we need to find that. And then we need to find the height. And so when I write those down in a calculus class, I'm thinking this is the first derivative of the height function. And so now when we read through the, the word problem, we get a ball being thrown upward, initial speed. It doesn't look like it's at an angle, so it's going straight up. Uh, acceleration due to gravity is negative 9.8 meters per second. Uh, per second squared, we should say. So we have the acceleration function. It's constant. It's a constant negative 9.8. There's no t here because it's constantly, uh, the acceleration is constantly going down 9.8 meters per second. So we can find out v of t. v of t would be the antiderivative of the acceleration. The velocity is the antiderivative of the acceleration. In this case, it's with respect to time. So if we get negative 9.8t uh, plus some constant c. And we're given initial value information to help us find that constant c. The initial speed is 25 meters per second. So when t equals 0, we should have 25 meters. So right now, this is our velocity function. But if we plug in 0 for t, we should get out 25 meters per second for velocity. If you solve that equation, that's a nice quick one. c is 25. So now we can put the whole velocity equation together without an arbitrary constant. For this problem, this is our velocity equation. And then we're going to do something similar to find the height. The height would be the antiderivative of velocity. So we're going to find, it, find the indefinite integral with respect to t. So that's negative 4.9t squared plus 25t plus some constant c. And then we're given initial value information. This is the height, but the height is uh, initially at 4 meters. So when we first start, when we plug in 0 for time, h is 4. I think you can see where this one's going. If you plug in 0 everywhere, all those terms are just 0. So we get c equals 4. So our height function should be negative 4.9t squared plus 25t. And then we found out C is 4.